Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Design Fits Reverend Media. Today we are going to design this um, foot joint banner that you see here. I designed for a customer. So let's get started. So the size of this um, banner is 33 to 55. 33 by 55 inches so if your unit is in millimeters you just change the unit to inches then you type your 33 and your 55 there then you click ok you get a new document which you are going to work on first of all i use this background here which i downloaded from the internet as you can also use maybe similar background or you can download the same background from the internet is like something like pink whitish color so i will just drop it into my photoshop to my documents just drag it to my document is so i have my background here very good I have my bag and it's very it's very nice then you can see there is another shape here in the background or top on, on it so that one i used a um, shape to in doing it so i would like to lock my background here so that it won't interact with other um, shape so i use the pen to i use the pen to so I click outside the box, then click here again, then I will hold and drag to get a curve. I hold and drag to get the curve. After that, I will I will press and um, Alt and click on, on this point and this uh, so that when I get or oh, when I click a new point. I'll get a straight line. Okay, so that's it. Now, so anytime you're doing, make sure that your um, this place is on shape, not on path, so that you create a shape for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So very good. So now let's change the color. Let's change the color. Let's change the color. The color is a it's one color i think it's this so this one is i think the, the the one under it is having this color so we, we just we are going to do another one which will be this yellow and like red background uh, so i'll just duplicate this one so i'll come to the layer um, tab or layer panel uh, i click on the shape i'll press on or uh, click on duplicates and press ok it has duplicated the same shape so with the help of my arrow top key i'll click on it so that uh, okay i think it's good then i'll change the color so you click on the shape to here you come here then you click on um, gradients so for the gradients the gradients having two colors so you just click on this one the first color here i think the first color was yellow yes yellow then the second color here is i think this color will do okay yes good mm -hmm. then i will change the the angle change the angle which yeah. and make it 100 100 degrees i'll go there again i'll make it uh, 95 okay i think this one is good then for the scale i'll increase the scale a bit okay i think this one is 
this one is cool okay so we finish our, our background then I would like to I'll bring this down a bit okay then I'll take it to the top I'll select both of them I'll take it very good I think this is okay huh, so I'll select my background the one I just did the shape then I'll lock it so that it won't interact now we have our background is ready so we are going to bring this woman here this chef here so I have her here I downloaded from the internet so when you google chef there are a lot of them will come then for the sake of time I have already um, removed the background with my food I'm going to use so I'll just drop it into the, my project here very beautiful woman here I'll reduce it and bring it bring her here I think yes and I'll click on ok so now we are going to um, do this best we are going to type this Emilia's food joint ok so I'll just pick my um, type 2 then I'll type Emilia Emilia Emilia's I'll click and increase the font then I'll change come to character come to character I see some A with a, a vertical bar here character if you don't see your character you go to windows you go to check on character and it will come okay so I'm going to change the color you can see the color here change the, change the color with the help of my color picker I will click on this color then it will select the color for me so yes think is good then uh, you can see there are some bevel and balls in this text so let's go and do that so you come to the layer panel then you go to effects make sure that you select the Emilia you go to the effects then you click on bevel and emboss bevel and emboss okay so it comes like this you can see the color has already changed so you can make you can make changes to your, to your color you can change it there make sure this one the pillow and balls it the styles will be in a pillow and balls you can choose any one that you want but i prefer the pillow and balls the depth should be 100 the size will be um, 21 you keep the settings here but you can also manipulate it okay so you can see it was having it was having a stroke around it so you come to the effect then stroke uh, so the stroke we will add make sure the color is white as as mine then i think the size should be 22 or so or you can use this slider to determine how it suits you i want to give a space a little space in between my character or my my text my letter so i'll come here i'll come to this place on the character tab then i'll 25 you know 50 i think 50 is good okay i think 50 is good So I left it my food joints. Can also undo. Okay. Can also stretch it a bit by clicking and dragging on the banding box. So
so you have full joint so let me type the full joint Then I will change the form to. I think the form is belly nice. Yes. I'll change the form to belly nice. Then I have to make sure that um, I have small letters for this one. type again make sure this one is off no not not the Emilia so I'll type another one for joint here make sure this one is off okay so, uh, food joint Change the font to change the font to very nice. Wow. This font is very very nice. I downloaded it from the the font the font dot com. Can get it there. It's for free. So you, let me you change the thing to change the color this one is okay very good then I think it's of having a stroke we come here to a stroke and let's reduce the stroke to 21 okay it's good think it's, it's almost similar very good so now let's come to our food as I told you earlier the food have, I have all the food here I've already removed the background I downloaded all the food from the internet just search Google food fried rice plain rice and PC any watch any food that you want so I'll just rearrange my food here then I think I'm, I'm, uh, this one will be here. Then PC will be here. And let me check and see. Okay, and watch it. Watch it will be here. Then the plain rice will be here. The plain rice will be here in this place okay and uh, I don't know whether it's fried rice or indomie it's also here very good now I've, I've finished arranging my food can increase it how it, it will see to you This one is okay. Yes, very good. Uh, so now we are moving on to do this um, shape here and this writing here. So I'll go to. I'll just pick. I'll. I'll click on it and hold. The other tools will come. So I'll choose the rectangle shape or rectangle tool here. I'll drag to where I want. The shape to end. Wow. 
then i will come here i will change the color to i will select the solid color I will change the color to um, wine okay then i think uh, let me type the number here so that i'll bring in there so uh, remember is zero five okay don't worry let me let me type my own number there let me type my own number there okay zero two four six six nine two seven one eight okay so Number is here. Then I'll bring it down here. Yes. Then I'll go to my character. If you can't find your character, go to Windows. Then your character will be there. I'll change the font to. I'll change the color to white. Then I'll change the font to. change the font to this I think this one is okay then I will duplicate by pressing on the alt key and dragging drag and drop I'll change this text to tell bring it here and reduce it a bit then I'll change I'll click, click on OK I'll change the color to yellow then yellow is OK yes. what else OK then we have um, for order Order. So let me type for order. For order. Mm. For order. the color is black and let me change the font to area black or let me add this for others okay so I left with the last thing nutrition our value the motto so let me come here and type Font was very nice. Oh no, it's Amandis. Yes, here is the font. Very good. Let me change. This O to capital letter, the V to also to capital letter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's left with this one here the names of the food with the shape under it. So, 
so for the shape and height i'll just um draw a shape to just drop a shape to i change the color to prime then i'll click on shift shift no uh, control and i'll hold you see that the, the cursor has changed the arrow then you click and you drag it here okay i'll do the, i'll do the same to this place i'll, I'll press control the cursor will change and i'll do that make sure that it is proportional okay it's good that's it then we type our name to it so the first name is fried rice the color color is white just put it on it scale it then you select both of them and reduce it then you place it where you want to place it after that you select both of them by alt click a uh, pressing on alt make sure both of them is selected then you press on alt then you drag you bring this one here i'll do the same to this one here same here then the same here then we just change the names so we have this one here and pc and gonna we call it and pc then we have have to change only the the plain the fried rice to plain rice then let me see this food now let me change the watch it first change a watch it that's what we say it in as uh, commercial let me let me check this food I don't know jollof fries mm, wow so I'll change it to jollof fries jollof jollof rice so guys thank you very much make sure you subscribe to this channel for weekly tutorials and also you like the page and share thank you very much